Hello, everyone. Welcome to Backyard Musings. I'm Steve. And I'm Scott. Thank you for joining us today. Do you remember when Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Terminator, tossed that defective power unit cell out, out the window of the car and it caused a nuclear explosion? Researchers have created a nuclear battery with unprecedented efficiency, 8,000 times more efficient. The battery developed by the research team at China's Suchow University harnesses the energy of radioactive decay, a process associated with nuclear waste. Fascinating stuff here. Yeah. So micro-nuclear batteries harness energy from the radioactive decay of radiosotopes to generate electricity on a small scale, typically in the nanowatt or microwatt range. Um, according to researchers, uh, they state the process of radioactive decay is not influenced by environmental factors, including temperature, pressure, and magnetic fields. Uh, this development brings us closer to a future where miniature power sources can operate for decades without needing a recharge. Uh, practical solution for terminators. <laughs> Definitely practical solution. We're moving closer towards terminators we've got ai now we've got the small nuclear um and this uh this this nuclear thing here these this americium they're tiny atoms so they're taking a coating and putting it around the atom to harness that and then putting many of those on a little whatever a little photovoltaic so that that glow is gonna produce energy and it's not like uh you can just do this out of the Petri dish, right? You've got to be protected head to toe because it's radioactive. Crazy. So how will that work for, say, I mean, obviously not going to be used in anything like, like vehicles, probably, right? Well, it could. Yeah, it could. So they would just need to figure out some kind of a, a protective enclosure for this thing? Yeah, and they've they've already they've already tested that they've already done that, and we'll get into it. Uh, the the polymer that that they're going to encase these atoms in, um, and put it on a photovoltaic. So the team utilized americium, a radioactive element usually considered nuclear waste. That's pretty cool, yeah. which emits energy through alpha particles. These particles are highly energetic, but tend to lose their energy quickly to their surroundings making them difficult to harness efficiently. To address the decay problem, the researchers embedded americium in a specialized polymer crystal that acts like a transformer. It changes the fleeting energy of alpha particles into a stable and sustained green luminescence. So this is kind of a, this is a, um, a way to utilize nuclear waste, which I know has been a problem in the past, right? Storing yeah. it, what to do with it afterwards. Yeah. Fascinating stuff. So, Cameron, don't do that. Okay. So uh, this glowing crystal is subsequently paired with a photovoltaic or voltaic cell, which is a device that converts light into electricity. It is similar to a miniature solar panel, but powered by the green glow from the americium um, doped crystal instead of sunlight. This is crazy. Um, I must have missed this class in school when they <laughs> got an opportunity to do this. Uh, the setup is uh, then encased in a small quartz cell. The result is a micro nuclear battery that despite its uh, minuscule size can generate a stable supply of electricity for decades. That is fascinating amazing Crazy. yeah yeah fascinating uh p power almost anything you know vehicles spacecraft whatever uh testing revealed that this battery could produce a steady electricity supply for over 200 hours in the test demonstrating exceptional longevity it managed to do so with minimal radioactive material making it a safer and more sustainable option Despite uh, americium's extensive half-life of 7,380 years, it's a long time, Yeah, the operational lifespan of nuclear batteries is expected to span only a few decades. 
This limitation arises because of the components encasing the radioactive material will gradually degrade over time due to radiation exposure. Again, practical for terminators. So you got to watch this carefully because once it, it degrades, then you could be exposed to radiation. So you, you got to have the shelf life on the battery. So, you know, and maybe a year before you talk, send it on a spacecraft to the sun. So, okay. So they, so far they haven't been able to figure out a way to uh, extend these batteries. Like we can charge like our lithium batteries now over and over and over again. Right. That that's yeah, not good. So so these are one and done, like two decades, and it's done, gone. Yeah, that's still pretty good. That's a that's a, a good lifetime. So, yeah. Uh, okay, so ideally, we envision our micronuclear battery being used to power miniature sensors in remote or challenging environments where tr traditional power sources are impractical, like deep sea exploration, space missions, or remote monitoring stations. Uh, concluded Xiao Wang from the Sucho University, and of course, Terminators. Uh, although challenges may re uh, remain, this development represents a major step toward a future where nuclear batteries could be widely used. Yeah, I, I this stuff is just, again, it's just fascinating that they're able to do this. So, but yeah, power anywhere, right? So a planet that is- Venus, uh, far, Venus for example, yeah farther away from the sun that doesn't have the, the luxury of the, uh, like, you know, the solar energy like we have. So yeah, this is <laughs> upcoming, man, you know? Yeah. And Even so, so we've got AI and now we've got, we're moving towards these nuclear little batteries. I mean, it's all moving towards terminators. You know what I'm saying? This is, this, I'm, I'm watching this stuff thinking, Whoa. I mean, yeah. AI and AI could be sentient, you know, eventually. Yeah. It's crazy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep a watch on this stuff. It's crazy. So, yeah. Amazing minds are developing this stuff. So, cool. And, and what, it, what I think, what I like about it is that when you watch these movies like Terminator and they use this technology or Star Trek, eventually that the technology they talk about in entertainment comes and becomes an actual thing you know what i'm saying like uhura used to wear that ear thing now we got ear air pods and the right jean luc picard with the data thing data pad we got ipads you know walkie talkies and communicators it's it's crazy that i it's a nod to the directors who try to use realistic science you know yeah absolutely yeah Okay. All right, folks. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Have take care, everyone. Thank you.